now that everybody's into extraction mode rather than war winning mode. I mean, the, the reality is, having told the Taliban that they're going to be out by 2014, in some areas, in particular, the Taliban have decided to sit on their hands, let NATO go, so that they can then fight an easier foe in the form of the Afghan government. What's concentrating the minds now of the British in Helmand? 9,500 British troops in Helmand, 30,000 Americans in Helmand. All of those 30,000 pretty much are part of the surge, Obama's surge from two years ago when they sent in an extra 40,000 troops into Afghanistan. They are supposed to be out, out of the country by September the, this year. That 68,000 Americans combat troops will be pulled out in September. Now what the Brits will then be figuring out is how do they withdraw either at the same time or make sure that they are not in a, in a position of having to backfill into very dangerous potential security vacuums, particularly in places like Sangin, where the Americans and Brits have lost a lot of men. Mm. Up in Musakala, we all remember the sort of Rourke's Drift sieges of the 2006 com campaign. Nobody wants to go back there uh, necessarily unless they've got some serious firepower. The idea is that the Afghans themselves will take over the security there. The prevailing assumption really is that some of these areas could be given up to the Taliban quite quite rapidly. But that's that's my analysis, not the planning assumption. Planning assumption now for the British will have to be at what pace is the drawdown going to go? Is it going to be a cascade, which is the, what the Americans seem to be favouring, which is a steady and, and, and inexorable withdrawal, which means that combat missions are pretty much crippled immediately because nobody knows what assets they've got at any one time. Stuff is just sort of hemorrhaging out all the time. Or do they have what they call a waterfall withdrawal where you you withdraw whole units and just go right okay as from x date you got no more tanks whatever it might be